technical difficulty, but Country Day put it into play first. And again, as I was saying, Country Day, number one in the state, the Grandview girls are number nine. Grandview taking it down, Ellie Smith in a foot race, and it's knocked out by Country Day. Throw in for Grandview, number eight, Keelan Swisher with the honors. Swisher gets it in, picked up by Ellie Smith, header, get, trying to get it over to uh, Macy 2. Macy 2 battling, and that one goes out off of the Nighthawks from Country Day. Again, a pretty aggressive team here. We're playing number one in the state. We're number nine. They have five seniors that will be playing Division I soccer, but our girls are going to up for this battle tonight as we've beaten more top 20 teams than Country Day has and played more Division I and Division II teams. So on the far side, play's going as we watch Harriet Christos pass it into Ellie Smith. Ellie Smith up to Macy, too. Two gets it to Nat Smith. Nat Smith takes a long shot, and that one's going to go left of the goal. All right. The Nighthawks will get a goal kick off that. And number one, Elisa Easter is the goalkeeper. Gets it out to number 28, who is Melissa Teak. Teak sends it upfield. Again, this is a very aggressive, very good country day team. But again, our iron curtain is there to turn it around. And there's a whistle. And that one's going against country day. All right, Lucy James to put it back into play. Lucy James gets it in. Nice kick. Sends it. Downfield picked up by the Nighthawks. Nighthawks bringing it down the far side. Caliph pressuring. Hawks send it into the middle. Hawks looking to attack. Lucy James comes up, kicks it. It's deflected by a Nighthawk. Nighthawks take a kick on goal. That one goes wide to the left. And it'll be a goal kick. Vivian shoot. Actually, Lucy James is coming out to take that kick for the Bobcats. So, folks, we are on the road. We're not using our typical huddle camera, so there might be a little shakiness here to this. Apologize for that in advance. Grandview's looking to attack, trying to get it upfield. Both teams fighting for possession. Nighthawks get it. They're outside the box. Crossover. Picked up by the Bobcats. And the Hawks again playing very aggressive ball. Number 20 takes it outside the box. Being pressured by Elise Granger. Kicked and picked up by Vivian Shute. So another shot on the goal by the Nighthawks. And Vivian Shute is there to get it. Lucy James will kick it in for the Bobcats. James puts it back into play. Picked up by Keelan Swisher. Nighthawks, though, jump on it. And they are going to kick it out. And let's see what the signal is here. And they call that one out off the Bobcats. So the Nighthawks get it back into play. They're off the, the near side wing. Looking to line it up. Crosses over to the middle. But... Lexi Smith is there to knock it out. Nighthawks again with the throw in. Grandview turns the field. Two sends it up to Nat Smith. Nat Smith sends it long. Looking for Swisher. Nighthawks turn it back. Both teams bat battling for possession. Center of the field. Nighthawks move it across the mid-center line. Grandview comes up. Tatum Lusher to kick it out of bounds. Nighthawks throw in from the center, center line. They get it in. Harriet Christos pressuring. Nighthawks send it long. And Elise Granger turns the field. Grandview looking to try to move it up. Nighthawks jump in that passing lane, steal it away.
on the far side. Lusher in a foot race with a Nighthawk, number 24. Nighthawks get into the box. Take a shot. Hits the goal post, the side bar, and bounces out. Grandview gets, clears it from the goal, the box. Nat Smith gets it to the near side to Macy 2, and that one's going to roll out off the Bobcats, so it'll be a throw-in for the Nighthawks. All right, 33-52 and counting down here in the first half. No score. Nighthawks throwing in. They get it in. Grandview pressuring. Number 20 for the Nighthawks. Moving up. Swisher pressuring. And Lusher comes up to stop the advancement. Nighthawks take another shot. And that one's going to be knocked out by shoot. And it'll be a corner kick for the Nighthawks from the near side corner. All right. Bobcats getting lined up. Shoot getting her defense set. Ramirez taking the shot for the Nighthawks from the corner. Shot is off. They take a shot. Ball's live, and it goes out the back. And that one's going out off the Nighthawks. So it'll be a goal kick. Grandview stops that advancement, that attack. Lucy James putting it back into play for the Bobcats off of that. Lucy James puts it into play. Nighthawks there to pick it up. Battling both teams, battling on the far side. Grandview playing some aggressive defense here, making the Nighthawks back it up to the mid-center line. Macy, two comes up, steals it, sends it in to Nat Smith. Nat Smith trying to move upfield, gets it up, takes it, tries to hit Harriet Christos on the near side and can't do it. The Nighthawks try to advance it, but Elsie Granger's there to knock it out of, out of bounds. Quickly thrown in by the Nighthawks. Picked up. Long, long shot into the middle of the box. Header by the Nighthawks. Lusher there to pick it up. Ball comes out. Nighthawks again pick it up at the top of the Grandview third of the field. Nighthawks looking for an attack lane. They're just above the arc. Take a shot. And that shot on goal is no good. So that one goes out the back goal line. And that will be a goal shot from the far side corner for the Nighthawks. All right. Nighthawks getting set up. Grandview has got their shoot getting her defense set up. Referee. Bark some orders. The on-field judge. They get a foot on it. Send it into the box. Picked up by Lucy James. Nighthawks regain control. Nat Smith sends it upfield. But the Nighthawks are there to get it. A foot race to keep it from going out. And the Nighthawks are going to bounce it off of Lusher. Lusher is able to save it. Move it up the far sideline, and it goes out, so it'll be a Nighthawks throw in. Nighthawks get it in. Back and forth. So far in this game, Grandview forced to play mostly defense, as that one's going to go out off of the Nighthawks. So Lusher will throw it in for the Grandview Bobcats. And coming in for the Bobcats right now is Lori Beth Boy and number 13, Abby Palmashano, going to give, it looks like, Lexi Smith and Ellie Smith a quick break here. Right now, temperature's a balmy 37 degrees. Nighthawks get it in. Uh, 
That one goes out off the Nighthawks. Grandview advancing down the far side, picked up by the Nighthawks. Again, Grandview spending a lot of this first half in, on defense. Nighthawks, very aggressive team. Christos trying to advance it up, trying to get it to Palmashano. Nighthawks there to pick it up again. Nighthawks advancing just above the box. Work their way around Swisher. 20 takes a shot, gets it in. They can't connect, and oh, shoot falls on it. Great save by Vivian Shoot. We're at 28-45, left here in the first half, and no score. Lusher sends it long out over her front line. Easter sends it up, and that one looks like it may go out off the Bobcats. No, it's saved by Christos. Christos gets it up, but the Nighthawks are there to take it back. Back and forth now. Grandview trying to keep it on the past the mid-center line. Two, races forward, picks it up, surrounded by defenders, looking for someone to pass to, gets it, tries to get it up to Harriet Christos, but it is intercepted by number 28 from the Nighthawks. Nighthawks now look to reset, and they kick that one out. So it's going to be Harriet Christos throwing in for the Bobcats right now. Christos gets it in, aiming for Palmashano, overshoots Palmashano. Nighthawks pick it up. Ooh, Macy, too, steals that one away. Christos sends it long. Can they get there? Nope, the keeper, Easter's there to pick it up for the Nighthawks. All right, 27.06, counting down. No score. Easter sends it long out to midfield. Again, folks, this we do not have the automated camera tonight. This is handheld and running off a tripod, so it's a little shaky. Sorry about that. Nighthawks attacking. Lucy James there to turn it, gets it to Christos. Christos tries to send it up to Palmashano. Two comes in to help. Palmashano now has it. Palmashano past mid-center. Sends it over to Christos. Christos tries to save it from going out of bounds, but she can't. And with that, it goes out. It'll be a throw-in for the Nighthawks. So, 26-24, counting down. No score. And coming in for Grandview will be number three, Lily Fisher, giving Paul Machano a break. Fresh, two freshmen. Nighthawks looking. Send long. Get it in. Granger defending. Fisher comes up, puts some pressure. Granger gets it. Bobcats and Nighthawks fighting for possession. Number 20, looking to attack above the arc, takes a shot, and that one goes wide left of the goal. So it'll be a goal kick for the Bobcats, and it looks like Lucy James is going to get the honors. All right, Lucy James puts it back into play, sends it to the near side. Lily Fisher there to pick it up, battling a Nighthawk. Two more Nighthawks come up. Nighthawks do take it away. Moving up the near sideline. Fisher battling, coming in there, pressuring. And, oh, a whistle. That's going to go against the Bobcats. So it'll be a free kick for the Nighthawks. Looks like number eight, Molly Kleinkamp, will be uh, getting the free kick for the Nighthawks, Grandview set. Nighthawks get in position. It's kicked. And they, good position. And they, that was a nice setup. 
glad they didn't get that. The Nighthawks, that one went high over the crossbar as Lucy James will get a goal kick and put it back into play for the Bobcats. So we are at 24-18 and counting down no score here in this regional semifinal. Bobcats against the Nighthawks from Cincinnati Country Day. Lucy James gets a foot on it, sends it out to mid-center. Nighthawks there to pick it up. Grandview battling. Macy, too, trying to work her way across the field. Looking for an outlet. Gets it up to Nat Smith. Nat Smith now moving up the sideline. Has uh, Fisher coming up to assist. Sends it up to Fisher, and that goes out of bounds. That's going to be a quarter corner kick for the Bobcats. So Nat Smith will take the corner kick. So we'll try to get her in frame here. All right, Nat Smith getting set. Grandview find their place around the net. Smith gets her foot on it. It's sent in and it hits the side of the net and will bounce out the back goal line. So that'll be a goal kick for the Nighthawks. 23.06, no score. A balmy now 35 degrees here in Beaver Creek at Frank Sink Field at this regional semifinal between the Bobcats and the Nighthawks from Cincinnati Country Day. Cincinnati Country Day now moving it upfield. They get up into the Grandview side at third of the field. On the far side, Lusher pressuring. They take a shot, and that one's going to go to the side of the goal. So it'll be a goal kick for the Bobcats. Oh, actually, that's going to be a corner kick, as they are calling it out off of a Bobcat that bounced off a Bobcat there at the end. So Country Day with a corner kick from the far side. Grandview set up. Country Day set up. They're keeping four back. Into the box. Lori Beth or Lucy James gets a header on it. Picked up by Macy 2. Macy 2 now moving up the field. She's got Nat Smith now in front of her. Smith tries to get around that defender. That defender gets a foot in there. And Grandview recovers. Now up to Lily Fisher. Lily Fisher needs some help. Nat Smith comes over to help. So doesn't Christos. Nighthawks able to turn the field. Again, they're moving it up. They get across the mid-center line. Lusher there to stop it momentarily. On the far side, Kara Hill battling. Lucy James comes up, gets a foot on it, sends it long up over the mid-center line. No one there for Grandview. On the far side, Lusher battling. She gets it, sends it forward. No one home to sign for that package, so the Nighthawks will take it back to the Grandview side of the field. They're pressured by Kara Hill and Lusher. They get past the two of them, trying to move it up. Lucy James there. Lucy gets a foot on it, sends it long, out over her forwards, and Country Day resetting now. Pressure, though, by Lily Fisher. Grandview doing an excellent job as Lori Beth Boy comes up to get it. Sends it to the near side to Harriet Christos. Christos sends it long, and that one's going to go out of bounds. And it'll be a throw-in for Country Day for the Black or Nighthawks. And coming back into the game for the Bobcats is number 19, Lexi Smith, giving Kara Hill a break. Nighthawks get it in. Granger there pressuring. Moving it up. They Nighthawks find somebody in the middle of the field. Lucy James up comes up to attack. Deflects that advancement. Lexi Smith now intercepts that one middle of the field, though the Nighthawks are there to steal it back away. Nighthawks just outside the box in the in the wing. Number 20 moves into the box. 
takes a shot deflected by Lori Beth Boy. So that's going to be a corner shot for the Nighthawks from the near side corner here. So number 34, Piper Ferris will be shooting. They get it in. Send it in, send it up over, but it's uh, trying to send it over, but it's deflected by Lily Fisher, and the Nighthawks are forced to kick that one out of bounds. So coming in the game now for for uh, Lily Fisher is number two, Gracie Ferris. Number four, Chloe Garris throwing it in for the Bobcats. She gets it into Macy two. Two is surrounded by three Nighthawks. That goes out off of, and oh, they called that one not. They called that one off of the Bobcats. So the Nighthawks get it in, back into play. Bobcats pressuring. Try to send it upfield, but it goes out. Grandview. Been on defense most this half as we've got 20 going into the wing. She looks for someone in the middle. Stopped by Lusher. Lusher sends it long. No one home for Bob the Bobcats to pick it up. So the Nighthawks are moving it back up the field. But Macy 2 comes in and steals it away. 2 sends it to the far side. To Lexi Smith. And these Nighthawks, there's a reason they're ranked number one in the state. They're playing very aggressively, but Grandview matching up step by step. We just need to get it down on their side of the field here for some. And Grandview throws it in, picked up by Lexi Smith. Lexi Smith gets it taken away. Two comes over and steals it, sends it to the near far side, picked up by Lusher. Lusher Gets it over to Swisher. Sw now, two, two moving up. Gracie Ferris, one-on-one, -on -one, can't get there in time. And Easter, the keeper, comes up and picks it up for the Nighthawks. She puts a nice boot on it, gets it out past the uh, mid-center line. And number 20, Elizabeth Zimmerman. Oh, Contact, and that one's going to go against the Bobcats. So that's going to be a, a free kick here just above the penalty arc. This is going to be a dangerous kick for us. As Country Day is getting set, Zimmerman for the Nighthawks. Grandview in position. Shoot awaiting the shot. Shot goes, and that's a good field goal. Goes through the uprights, the football uprights. Way over that uh, crossbar, and Grandview again gets a uh, gets a break here off that, and Lucy James will be putting it back into play with a, free, a goal kick for the Bobcats. All right, we're at 15:53 left here in the first half, no score. Lucy James gets it back into play, picked up though by the Nighthawks, back and forth. Lucy James comes back up to steal that one away. Zimmerman takes another shot, and that one goes in. So at the 15:38 mark, Zimmerman puts it in for the Nighthawks, and the Nighthawks go up one nothing over the Bobcats. The crowd is, so we're in an enclosed press box here, so you're not getting the ambient noise from the crowd as Gracie Ferris puts it back into play. Lucy James sends it long, or no, that was Claire Califf sending it long. And Country Day immediately attacks, but Califf is there to steal it away, gets back up. Both teams fighting for possession. That one goes out off of the Nighthawks. So... Chloe Garris will throw it in as coming back in is Nat Smith. Coming out is Gracie Ferris. Zimmerman picks it up. 
for the Nighthawks. Zimmerman's trying to move it up the near sideline. Grandview playing really tight. Califf sends it long. No one there for Grandview. Nat Smith, though, in a foot race to try to get it. Can't quite get there. Granger comes up to pressure Zimmerman, and the Nighthawks will put it, send it long. Chloe Garris gets a foot on it for the Bobcats. And it looks like that one's going to go out off of the Nighthawks. Nope. Yep, off the Nighthawks, and it's going to be a throw in. Chloe Garris for the Bobcats. Garris gets it in. Can't quite find a connect with a Bobcat. And Lusher comes up. Two picks it up. Nat sends it to Nat Smith. And the Nighthawks pick it back up. Lori Beth Boy with a foot on it. Now Zimmerman for the Nighthawks. Again, attacking. Sends it to the far side to number three, uh, Josie Hayden. Hayden, <laughs> Lusher with a nice tackle. Steals it away. Sends it long. No one there for Grandview. But now Nat Smith comes up. She's pressuring the Nighthawks. Lexi Smith comes up. Sends it back over the center line. Nighthawks looking for a seam to attack. And on the far side, that one goes out off the Nighthawks. So it'll be throw a throw in for the Bobcats. Lusher to throw in. Quick throw. Doesn't, doesn't find a Bobcat right off. So the, the Nighthawks pick it up. Macy, too, comes and picks it up, though, now for the Bobcats. She sends it over to the near sideline. Chloe Garris moves up the sideline, passes it up. No one home, though. And the Bobcats trying to recover. Zimmerman coming up. Granger gets it over to Boy. Boy to Garris. Garris to Lexi or to Macy too. Macy too tries to shoot it up over to Nat Smith. And again, the Nighthawks are there. Zimmerman now looking to attack. No, that wasn't Zimmerman. That was number 34. Ref doesn't believe that. Uh, flop and tells the player to get up so play is continuing now Zimmerman has the ball Elise Granger fighting her one-on-one -on -one. Zimmerman moves into the wing outside the box looking for a position and Lucy James is there to stop that advancement she sends it long that one's going to go out off of the Bobcats so it'll be a throw in number 28 Melissa Teak throws it in and there's a shot on goal, but it's blocked by Lucy James. Now two has it, sends it over to Elise Granger. Granger moving quickly up the sideline, trying to work around two defenders. These defenders are tough. These girls from Country Day playing some tough soccer right now. As Claire Califf gets it away, sends it over to Lusher. Lusher tries to get it upfield, but it's kicked out by the Nighthawks. And coming in is Kara Hill. She'll be relieving Keelan Swisher, I believe. All right, Country Day gets it into play. Just inside the box, they kick it. It's going to go out the back goal line, and that'll be a goal kick. Lucy James kicking it for. Oh, they don't. Call, they call that out off the Bobcats. It looks like, and it looked like it had gone off the uh, Nighthawks, but. The refs see it otherwise, so they're going to get a goal kick, a corner kick from the far side. Both teams set. Put it in play. Ball's live. Bobcats battling. And that one's going to roll out off of the Bobcats, off of a great valent pl uh, play by Lexi Smith. Nighthawks. Putting it into play. Uh, 
Again, the Bobcats have spent a great most of this half as we're down to 10 3 Majority of this half has been spent on the defensive side as the Nighthawks have kept us penned, been pinned on our third of the field. The score is one nothing. Nighthawks up at 948 and counting down. That one's going to go out off the Bobcats, out that back goal line. So the Nighthawks will again get a corner kick, this time from the near side corner. They tap it into play just outside the wing. But Macy, too, is there to steal it away. Two, trying to move up the near sideline. Some contact, no whistle. And Country Day will regain control as they look to move up the far side. Lusher pressuring. Country Day tries to send it into the box. It's repelled. Country Day again gets it off the far side wing, takes a shot, and that one's going to go out the back goal line, and that one will be off of Country Day. So Lucy James will have a goal kick for the Bobcats. Uh, Chris Christos is coming into the game, relieving number four, Garris. Lucy James puts it back into play, sends it long, can't get it. Again, these these Nighthawks, very aggressive. Zimmerman now has control just outside the box, facing off with Christos. She's trying to work her way around. Christos forces her to the back goal line. Zimmerman sends it in. They take a shot on goal, but Vivian Shute is there to pick it up and stop that. So at the 746 mark, your Bobcats down one nothing against the number one team here, and we're the number nine team in the state, Division Three, top ten uh, matchup here at the regional semifinals. As Grandview is trying to advance, and the Nighthawks can only kick it out. Now Grand Grandview, we need to keep it down on this side of the field now. Thrown in, no one home to pick that one up as it went over the head of Nat Smith. Lexi Smith picks it back up though. Trying to get it over into the middle. The Nighthawks are there to pick it up. They send it long. There's a foot race. And Lusher will send it into Lucy James, who sends it long. And that one's going to go out off of the Nighthawks on the far side. So Tatum Lusher with the throw in. Lusher gets it in. Looking for Nat Smith. Can't quite get it there. Lexi Smith comes over to help. She's pressuring the Nighthawks, and again, they can only throw it out. Of, out. So Bobcats with 6.43 and counting down. Trying to advance, trying to put advance and uh, get a shot on goal. Lori Beth Boy sends it into the middle to Macy 2. 2, back to Granger. Granger looks up the sideline, finds Christos. Christos trying to advance it. The Nighthawks step into the passing lane to steal it away. Now Zimmerman has it. She gets her working her way around Granger. Works through two of our defenders. She's tripped, falled, and there's a whistle. And that one's going against the Bobcats outside the box. So it'll be a free kick. I think it's going to be around the 16-yard line. So we'll see what can... Uh, So they're so the Nighthawks getting set up. Looks like number five, Megan Zimmerman will be taking the shot. She takes a shot, goes in, and that one goes up over the crossbar. So again, a disaster averted. As Lucy James will have the goal kick, put it back into play for the Bobcats. Six twenty-five, counting down here in the first half. Bobcats down one nothing to Cincinnati Country Day.
All right. Grandview puts it puts it out. I, I want to send out a big birthday wish to uh, John Getcha, who turns 54 today. Happy birthday, Getch. Nighthawks put it back into play. Lloyd Beth Boy pressuring Zimmerman. Zimmerman gets it into the middle. Elizabeth Zimmerman takes a shot, and that one goes wide, wide right. And that'll be a throw, a goal kick for the Bobcats. Lucy James has been putting those back into play for the Bobcats. Lucy puts it up, aims for the near sideline, and can't, Christos can't quite get there in time. Ball's put back into play, picked up by Elizabeth Zimmer. Grandview spending a lot of time on defense. The uh, Nighthawks have kept it, um, kept us pinned down here on our third of the field tonight. Coach got to make a few adjustments. Nat Smith sends it long, tries to pick up Ellie Smith. That one rolls by her. Christos now trying to move through two defenders. Macy, too, comes over to pick it up. Two sends it long. Ellie Smith in a foot race, and it gets kicked out by the Nighthawks. So Grandview with the throw in. Harriet Christos with the honors. Harriet looking for her spot, gets it in. Grandview and the Nighthawks battling. Harriet kicks, tries to kick into the middle. No one there. Comes out. Nighthawks pick it up, moving it up the field. Kara Hill steals it away on the far side. Now she's in a foot race. Nighthawks get there first. Number five, Megan Zimmerman now moves it up field, gets it over into the middle to number two. Kendall Weber. Weber that gets they're looking for Elizabeth Zimmer in the middle, but Grandview able to turn the field. But again, the Nighthawks doing a great job clogging those passing lanes as they take a sort of a, a half-hearted shot on goal and shoot is easily able to pick it up. That one comes up. Grandview looking to take control. Macy two push down. Play continues. Ball now down just inside the box. Lucy James pressuring. Minute 58 left. One nothing. Country day up. Shot on goal by Megan Zimmerman, and that one goes wide right. All right, Grandview holding on here, minute 43 and counting down. Lucy James to put it back into play for the Bobcats. Lucy puts it into play. Oh, Zimmerman number two is there to pick it up. But we're able to get a foot back onto it. On the far side, Lusher and Kara Hill get it away. Lusher sends it long. Ellie Smith trying to get there. That one's going to roll out. So it'll be a throw in for the Bobcat or for the Nighthawks from the far side. Grandview marks up. Nighthawks get it in. Trying to move it upfield. Elise Granger battling Zimmerman. Up comes Macy too to help. Two sent or Zimmerman sends it long. Lori Beth Boy gets a foot on it. Deflected off of a oh, deflected off of a Nighthawk, sent over to the near side to Christos. Christos can't quite get control, and that one goes out off the Bobcats. That one's going to go out off of oh, they're calling that one off the Bobcats too. Zimmerman quickly throws it in, trying to catch Grandview off off guard. Zimmerman trying to work her way up. We got three defenders there. She kicks it into the middle. 
And Lusher and James is there. Now Nat Smith sends it long, clears it. And we are counting down three seconds left, one second. And that's the first half. So the end of the first half here, the Bobcats are down one nothing to the Nighthawks of um, Cincinnati Day, Country Day. So the number nine team against the number one team. And folks, I know there's, we're a little blurry. So we're going to try to reboot and uh, clean the lens. So you're going to see the live broadcast end, but we'll pick back up here in 10 minutes. So this is John Ione live for the Bobcat Sports Network on YouTube saying hello to everybody back there in Grandview. We're going to try to hopefully get the picture better and we'll be back in 10 minutes. <laughs> 